feels like the condenser fan is on, but I don't think the press is on. My fan is running. The press is a little, little warm. Oh, look at this. But I'm gonna start with uh, cleaning that condenser coil. I'm plugging the system, let it sit for a minute, let this cool off, and then reset it. Oh no, I'm good. Thank you though. Check the starting component. Alright, so we got 189. We have a 189, 227. Got all that put together. All that starting components check out. Put clean coil. Now I'm gonna start it up. <laughs> Alright, let's check the amp draw. I'm gonna plug it in. Alright, so I am on the way to go grab some service ports um, so I can gauge up on there, look for the leak, and uh, see see what we can find from there. But I need to go grab some service ports right now, so. Alright, I got them both in. I'm good, how are you doing? <laughs> Don't burn them. So I'm happy with my joints. I'm gonna put some gas in it. Try to find this leak. Alright, I got Freon in it. Set up for 134A. I got 18 ppm, but I think that's kind of just a residual for me. Um, just connecting the gauges. Alright guys, she has been holding steady for about almost 45 minutes. I've leak checked with both electronic 
and ultrasonic on condenser, suction line, uh, capillary tube, and the EVAP coil. Um, so I got that EVAP coil out, opening all torn up part, so I can see everything. No oil marks. Can't find any bit of leaks. You know, it's hard to tell, but or the compressor could be going bad with the valves. You know, the the suction valve. The suction reed might be going out, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pull the vacuum, see if the microns hold, and then uh, charge it up 11 ounces and see how it operates. All right, I got it on vacuum. Got it pulling down. That's starting to ice up. Um, I had to call tech support just to double check, and I had to. They had me add a few more ounces to see if it changed. This should be a lot higher, probably like around there. Um, but that's what he said. Was this this compressor? The valves inside are acting up. We may just replace the compressor, filter dryer, starting components. All right, got it all put together. We're gonna have to order a new compressor, starting components, filter dryer. All right, guys, I'm back. Got the new compressor, new filter dryer, starting components. Brought all my stuff right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get started on changing this compressor out. All right, real quick, um, this new one does not require a capacitor. So that's why I didn't come with one. I had to call and ask. This is the old one, so. Um, it doesn't need one. It also doesn't have another terminal right here. So, it's a little different. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, it's unwired. Make sure it's out of the way. Put some thermal trap on here and uh, start brazing, sweating this out. Alright, so this being a cross-reference compressor was not ordered from the manufacturer, so I'm going to have to do some piping. Alright, here's the final piece. Got it all piped in.
All right, gotta put it back. Put on vacuum. I'm gonna let this sit for a while. Sit the ounces. And temperature is dropping. Looking good. All right, guys. That's it on this one. She came down to temp. She just turned back on it a little bit while ago, so she's uh holding temp. Shut it off. Make sure it came back on, and everything's working good. So looks like that's gonna be it on this one.